Well, guys, welcome back to Red River Living. Today, we are putting a um, awning on our loafing shed uh, for the cows. Uh, we've kind of done some pre-cutting and measuring already. It's a lot prettier weather when Jared and I were working the other day. It was downright cold. Uh, Jared's in short sleeve shirt today, so just a lot nicer weather. We hope to be able to get this done today and finish it out. Uh, run some um, trim strips on the shed today and hopefully wrap this project up today. So what we did here was up at the shop, I went ahead and cut all these boards four feet, put our angle on them at 22 and a half, and we pre-drilled them and stuck a three inch screw in the top of them just to secure them up there. So right now we're cutting our braces to brace it from the lean out, leaning back into our poles. As you can look up there and see, now our roof line will be braced back to the pole itself. Since we don't have any poles out front of it, we're going to brace it back to the uh, loafing area itself. Here I'm just getting some screws started before we get over there. So we came back in and we've taken our two by fours, tied them into the front edge here. That way we secured all of our brace boards going back to the loafing barn where they'd be squared up. We started with our brace pieces, it was messing up our angle. So we attached everything together. Now we're gonna go back in, put our uh, brace pieces back to the barn itself. I don't 
think I had your feet off the ground. That's 250. That's 250. Maybe 250 with the boots on. Try it again. That is the weakest point, by the way. You moved a little. Not bad. I'd say it's pretty strong. <laughs> but did you see that one up through? So now we've got our one by fours that we're going to lay across our two by four framing. These boards right here is what we'll use to attach our tin to. That way, wherever we have a flat spot and the holes in our tin, we'll be able to just run a screw into that. We don't have to worry about making the frame out on our two by fours itself. Yeah, I'll, well, in places I don't think you'll have to. Well, we've got our 1x4 slats up top now. We're fixing to go back in. We're having to pre-drill these 1x4s a little bit. They're wanting to split out on us. So we're doing some pre-drilling on those before we put our screws in. So that's what we're up to. We've got to pre-drill and then put our screws in, then we'll be ready for our tin next. Well, guys, we got our overhang up. Um, had a few little glitches here and there, but overall, really looks good. Now we got to go in and start trimming stuff out, um, trim out our ridge up top, and um, then start trimming out our sides and down our corners, and we'll be finished up. Well, guys, as you can see, we are getting some trim on the uh, loafing shed right here. Um, some of it's not going to be trimmed out. Probably the awning here, that's probably about as good as that's going to look. But up here on the top edges where the tin came together, we're just taking the tin that we had gotten um, from our neighbor, and we're just trimming it out best we can here. Go, you better go. <laughs> then you're not getting down. <laughs> 
down. They're fine. They they weigh a lot less than I do. My knees hurt. How's this look? Is it up top or did I go to get it? This one sure does fit better than that other side. I'll say that. Kenny, how's that corner look down there? Does our corner go underneath it, it looks like, or not? Well, guys, uh, this is going to wrap up part three of our lean to build. We've um, trimmed it out best we could with the material we had. Um, we put us a front off of it at about 22 degrees. That should keep some rain out of it. Um, really dressed it up, to be honest. We made it look really good. So I hope y'all enjoyed this little project with us. And um, appreciate it if you'd like and subscribe to Red River Living. We'll see y'all next time. Mm -hmm.